your double be wide There are many times you feel not right Tossing and turning through the night As that day goes by You seem like you're searching in the dark But when the darkness Hey guys, welcome and thank you for clicking Let's do shoot items shopping for the week let's see how much money i'll be spending on some of these items so, so you can compare them to how they cost in your area in your country in your city in your town in your village wherever you're watching from so that's what we will be doing today and today i'll shop at different places for different things and i'll also go for electricity credit i'll get some here go for gas as well stay watching I know right this video is supposed to be just cooking shopping and just living this life but no I like to violate I like to break rules <laughs> so I want to get my nails done first because man, my nails are really bad like I have been so busy that I forgot to look after myself man I'm too young for this I'm too young for this life so the issue is i was trying to decide where to go to first if i should go to the mall first or if i should go to the local market but i think it's fair to go to the mall because it's far away from my house then the local market is just very close to where i live so it would be fair to go to that side come back go to the electricity shops go to the mall then buy whatever i'm buying there and come i went back to Mecom, guys i am like that you know i like i'm stuck with them for now until it's not like they're not they're good to shop with you get it mecom gives you discount yes i know there are items that i may never buy from them again but i like to do my groceries shopping with them sometimes so yeah i went back there and then from there i went to china mall because my company didn't have some of the things that i wanted to buy like milo and the biscuit for my daughter's uh, school that she takes to school and um, some other items so i had to go to china more to get them because a lot of you have recommended that i start cooking with a wooden spoon i got some today at china mall and it's going to appear in this video because i'm going to do a little bit of cooking in this video not really a little bit of cooking actually it looks a little bit on camera but in reality guys i cooked eh? i cooked i'm going to be cooking some real you know um nigerian soups like soup because i'm cooking just the one you will see in the video so yeah at the local market there's a nigerian shop there so some of the things i just buy from there especially when i want to go local like go home i want to go home from ghana i want to be in nigeria so i just buy from them and then buy other things for my ghanaian customers and you mix everything up and then you know yeah it's interesting so already at the mall i have spent at um at hold on yeah because as i'm doing this voice note i'm looking at the um, receipts that i'm holding here the one from china mall i spent 116 ghana cities which is very fair because i bought some things like wooden spoon biscuits milo and what again I must always buy what I don't need. That is the problem with me going to the mall. At Mecom, I spent 110 cities, which totaled it to 216, yeah, 220, sorry, 226 cities, which is fair. Yeah, I'm not talking about transport. I'm talking about the things I got. And you can see I bought so many things. So already to the local market, and I'm done at the local market. I'm home. So some of these items you see here, like the rice, the intomi, and the oil, I bought them a day before today. Because um, I wanted to do like comparison. And man, it worked, guys. You see these noodles that I'm holding, this indomie brand? of noodles it is um i bought it 
at from the shop for 82 cities and this oil i'm holding here i bought it at the shop near my house for 120 cities which at the mall i saw it for 189 cities so some of these things like this rice i bought it here for 70 city at the mall is about 90 something cities so yeah i think some of these things i will not be buying at a mall again the reason i like to buy some things like um milk and other things at the mall i believe they are fresh because a lot of people go there to buy items and they just buy and buy and buy so they always restock they always have new products new stocks so that's the reason and uh, the logic for that so it's time to get down man into the real authentic goja kalaba beep that i am this soup here is popularly is most popular among the southern nigerians if you're from rivers like port Harcourt, if you're from cross river kalaba Bom. this soup here is not <laughs> it's not something we play with so yeah today i'm glad i can find the, some of the ingredients because i couldn't find the fresh um afang soup afang leaf which i don't know the english name for it so i had to go for the dry one but then i was going to add, add something like a twist to make it um fun for me to enjoy it so i want it fresh but because i do not have the fresh one i opt for ugu yes yeah, so some people call it punky leaf so i opt for ugu and then mix it with a dry or kasi that's what the Igbo people call this vegetable and they mix it with yeah the ugu and water leaf so this soup that i'm preparing here is going to take us from now till next week monday this video was shot on monday this cooking and shopping all way done um monday i mean between monday and tuesday sorry this video was made on tuesday yo so it's going to take us till next week monday or tuesday as the case may be but the good thing is some of these things i bought like rice noodles and um, oil i'm going to have them here for a really long time no matter how much we eat we're not going to finish that in a week so yeah that's the good thing about this i have prepared my okazi soup the Igbo people call it okazi but we in southern nigeria we call it afan soup some people call it um they call it salad african salad soup or they call it salad soup yeah i'm done cooking my people you're invited i seriously feel like we being this to someone sometimes i feel like i'm selling the food i did tell you guys that i bought nigerian fufu at the nigerian shop so i'm going to we're going to have this and then have it in the fridge whenever we need it to we'll just for now i'm not using microwave i warm it and then we we'll eat so when all these things are cooling down when they don't cool in i'll have them in the refrigerator so yeah that is how i spend money in accra and live happy okay it's like i didn't tell you guys how much money i actually spent at the end of the day with the rice and everything that i got with the mekong and the china mall the local markets everything i spent a total of 800 Ghana cities that is somewhere around i'm going to leave it in dollars on the screen thank you for watching come back here tomorrow there will be a video up for you i love you bye